The United Nations says it costs as much as $50 million to remove all mines, explosive devices and booby traps left by the ISIS terrorist group in and around the Iraqi city of Mosul as government forces and allies prepare for a new stage of liberation operations in the Tekfir group's last stronghold on Iraqi soil. Paul Halslop, the Chief of Program Planning and Management Section of the United Nations Mine Section Service, UNMAS, announced the estimate on Monday, adding that another $50 million was needed this year for the rest of the Arab country to be cleared of the landmines and improvised explosive devices, IED, planted by ISIS. The UNMAS, operating as part of the World Bodies Department of Peacekeeping Operations, had previously estimated that some $112 million was needed for the whole of Iraq this year and around $178 million next year. Iraqi army soldiers, supported by fighters from pro-government popular mobilization units, commonly known by the Arabic term Hashid al-Shabi, and Kurdish Peshmerga forces, launched a joint operation on October 17, 2016, to retake Muslim from terrorists.